الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين. Today I'm going to talk about the second feature or the second principle which is manner of articulation. This is the second principle, the second factor, manner of articulation. Some students, in fact, ask me to use Arabic, so I'm going to give here and there some Arabic counterparts for English phrases or sentences. Now, as I said before, we have six factors for describing and classifying consonants. These are place of articulation, manner of articulation, and the third one, voicing, intensity of muscles, length of consonants, and strength of consonants. So this is the second factor, the second principle, the second feature, manner of articulation. Now this refers to how consonants are produced, or in other words, it refers to the way consonants are articulated, the way consonants are produced by the different organs of speech. Then, هذا يشير لنا إلى طريقة إنتاج الكونسونس، طريقة إنتاج الكونسونس بأعضاء النطق. So it refers to how consonants are produced. Now, according to this feature, consonants are described into six types. These types are as follows. The first group consists of what we call fricatives. So the first group is called fricatives. We have fricatives, then we have stops, then we have affricates, then we have nasals, and the third, the fifth one, laterals, and the next sixth one is glidings. I'm going to talk about each one in detail, so please pay attention to me. Now the first one, as I have just said, according to manner of articulation, or from the point of view of manner of articulation, منحيت manner of articulation منحيت اسلوب النطق consonants are described or classified into these groups. So صنف الكونسونس حسب هذه الأنواع. The first type is called. We have a here, for example, fricatives. Fricatives. Now, this refers to a group of consonants which are produced with audible friction. What do we mean by this? Audible friction means احتكاك, مسموع. Audible friction here takes the place or results from a narrowing. This narrowing, تضييق, this narrowing is caused by the articulators coming very close to each other. The organs of speech, عضاء النطق, come coming very close to each other. Now, this consists of these consonants. For example, here we have ifaniv, are these are fricatives, I mean, ifaniv, ifaniv, saniz, shanij, and the, the, the sound, the last one is or he, which is the last one, the ninth one. Now, what happens here, I'm going to give you an example to show you this. I'm going to draw the diagram which shows this. So, look here, please. As uh, as uh, usual, we start drawing the upper jaw. Now, this is the upper jaw. This is the upper jaw. Now, here, as I said, in all these, we have, uh, they are called fricatives. Why? Because there is always a friction. There is always audible friction. This friction results from, oh, I have just said this, this friction takes place or results from a narrowing. And this narrowing results from the articulators, the organs of speech, coming very close to each other. Now, for example, here, when I want to produce FNIV, FNIV, for example, this is the diagram for FNIV. Now, look, please, here, this is the upper jaw and the lower jaw here, as you see, the lower lip and the teeth, the tongue, and the epiglots, of course, and this is the 
as you see here, as you see here, the lower lip <coughs> comes very close, the lower lip here comes very close to the upper front teeth. The lower lip comes very close to the upper front teeth. And when the breath passes through this narrowing, now here, constituting this narrowing, this is a narrowing, tadiq. When the breath passes, of course, this is the oral cavity, and there is a narrowing here in, in, uh, at this area, where between the, uh, the lower lip and the upper teeth. Now, when the breath passes through this narrowing, it passes with a friction. And this is why we call these fricatives. Now, the second group, the second group is stops. Stops. Now, what do you mean by stops? Here, the breath, they are called stops. Why? Because the breath stops completely. stops. There is a complete closure. There is a complete closure. Now they are called stops. They are called stops. Why? Because the breath stops completely. And of course, they, then it is released. The air is released. You track with explosion. You خرج the explosion bin fijar. Therefore, they are also called plosives. So they are stops or plosives. There is a plosive plosion. So they are called plosives or plosives. Now, this is why we call them stops or plosives. Now, uh, these are, of course, are six in number. We have three thirds. Adatum sette. That is why we We have p, b, t, d, k, g. Also, I'm going to give you, to show you this in the diagram here. Now, this is the same. You can use the same diagram. Look, please. Now, I'm going to to uh, draw the diagram for, for example, for Tede. Now look, please, here. Pebe, we have Pebe, Tede, and Kege. Look, now this is for Tede. As you see here, there is a complete closure. As you see, there is a complete closure between what? Between the twelfth tongue and the alveolar ridge. So the breath here stops here at this point. The breath stops the breath that comes out of the lungs, the breath that comes out of the lungs, stops here at this point. Between what? Between the, the tip of the tongue and the alveolar ridge. And this is why we call them stops. And of course, when the, low, the tip of the tongue is lowered suddenly, there is here, suddenly we can say the, the word suddenly is important. When the tip of the tongue is lowered suddenly, the breath rushes out with a slight explosion. So this is why we call them plosives so they are called stops because the breath stops and they are called plosives because the breath goes out is released with explosion or popping noise in fact here we, i can say that in all plosives in all plosives we have four phases we have four phases four phases phase power in all stops we have four phases the first phase is this, the articulators or the organs of speech are in contact with each other. are in contact, will be in contact with each other. The second phase, the breath stops. The breath stops. The third phase, the articulators move from each other. That is the, the tip of the tongue, for example, here is lower suddenly. And the fourth phase, the the breath goes out with explosion. The breath goes out or is released with explosion. Now, th this is what we call stops or plosives. Now, move to the next, to the third, to the third group. The third group is. Africans. Now, Africans in English, Africans in English, we have only two Africans, in fact, in English. Adnan and Samim, Africans, Infijariye, Infijariye, Hticakiye, Samuha, Infijariye, Dolly Samuha, Hticakiye, Dolly Samuha, Hticakiye, Dolly Samuha, Hticakiye, Infijariye, 
Now we have here only two. These are ch and j. So we have ch and j. Ch and j. Of course, ch is one, so one sound, one sound, one phoneme, and j is also one sound or one phoneme. Now what do we have here? What happens here is this. What happens here is this. In Africus, what takes place is this. Here we have we have two things happening here. The first thing is that the articulators, the organs of speech, will be in contact with each other. That is it, the same thing as it is. It happens for stops. So why? Because we have the first. The first part is a stop. Do you see it here? T and D. So they are stops. Therefore, when, when we want to produce ch, we we have to start with the, with the producing t or d, but not complete t or d. What do we have here? The first thing is that the tibetan, for example, is in contact, will be in contact with the alveolar ridge, will be in contact with the alveolar ridge. And we have another thing that happens here, in fact, the front of the tongue is also raised. So the same diagram here may be used here. The same thing happens here is that the front of the tongue is raised. So as you see here, the front of the tongue or the body of the tongue, the front of the tongue is raised towards what? Towards the hard pellet. Why? Because here the front of the tongue or the body of the tongue is opposite to the pellet. Therefore, we have the two areas involved here. That is the average and the hard pellet. Now, here, what I mean is this. These consonants uh, start as a stops and end as a fricatives. Then, what do we have here? Then, the tip of the tongue here it moves away, a little way, from the alveolar ridge, making a narrowing making an arrowing. Why? For the production of the fricative. For the production of the fricative. And the breath here passes out with the friction. So, we can say that here, neither the stop is complete, nor the fricative is complete. La stop kamil adne, lwala el fricative kamil. Because the stop here for making stops, or producing a stop, we have four phases. Lazm adne arba'at atwar. Now, what happened here is this. We have two phases, in fact. The articulators come in contact with each other, and the breath stops, but it is not released with explosion. Therefore, we have no, no explosion. Why? Because the breath here goes out in my explosion. Friction. We have friction here. What happened is this, that we, where the breath goes out with the friction. And this is an necessary condition for Fricatives. So we can say that in all affricates, we uh, the first the first uh, uh, part is stop and the second part is a fricative. That is, fric affricates start as a stops and end as a fricatives. So neither the stop is complete nor the fricative is complete. Why the, the fricative is also incomplete? Because here, in the fricatives, we usually have a narrowing from the start. And the breath goes out. It is, there's, there's also a continuation. They are called continuant. Why? The friction starts from the start. And this doesn't take place. And also, of course, in, a, in a fricatives also, the articulators come from uh, here, the, the lower jaw, Moving to the upper jaw, and this is this doesn't take place. This doesn't take place in in Africa. The articulators move here. The, the tip of the tongue is lowered, not raised, like in ordinary fricatives. Now move to the next group, which is called nasals. Here, D, we have nasals. Now, in nasals, what happens in nasals is that the soft pellet is lowered. The soft pellet, as you see here, is lowered so that the breath passes through the nasal cavity. And they are called nasals. Why? Because the breath or the air goes through the nasal cavity. Here in English, we have m, n, and n. Now, I'm going to show this to you here in the diagram. Now, the same diagram here may be used. Now, look, please. 
For example, when we want to produce M, for example, here, as you see here, now the lips are here in contact with each other, so the oral cavity is now blocked by the two lips coming in contact or being in contact with each other. And the breath here that comes out of the lungs, which have passed through the windpipe, then through the larynx or vocal folds and the pharynx, and then it goes through the nasal cavity. And this is why we call them nasals. And this is why we call them nasals. Then Hawaii of been in nasal cavity. We call them nasals. This is the fourth group. And the fifth group is here, laterals. Laterals, we have L, of course, we have dark L and dark L and light L. We have L and L and L. Now here, what happens is that, what happens in laterals is that the, the tip of the tongue will be in contact with the alveolar ridge. When producing L, the center of the mouth is blocked, is closed. The center of the mouth is blocked. By what? By the tip of the tongue. Now, I'm going to show you this in the diagram here. Now, look, please, here. Now, also, the lower, this is the tip of the tongue, which is in contact with the alveolar ridge. This is the tip of the tongue, which is in contact with the alveolar ridge. But, and of course, here, the socket is, is raised also. Why? Because the sound is oral, not nasal. So, the, the, uh, the breath here goes through the oral cavity. Now, as you see here, the tip of the tongue is in contact with the alveolar ridge. What happened? Why do we call this or uh, these laterals or lateral? Because the breath here goes over the sides of the tongue and out of the mouth. So the breath here goes over the sides of the tongue and out of the mouth. That is, there is a partial closure. There is a partial closure here caused here at this point by the tip of the tongue being in contact with the alveolar ridge. And the breath, of course, as I have just said, goes over. This is why we call them laterals. Lateral means janibi. So the breath goes over the side of the tongue and out of the mouth. Now the next group is called, which is F here, F glidings. Glidings are free in number in English. They are W, Y, and R. <clears throat> so we have three glidings in English. Now these are produced when the tongue, when the tongue, of course, when I say the tongue here, the tongue, the middle of the tongue, the body of the tongue, the front of the tongue is raised towards the hard pellet. Why? Because it is opposite to the pellet. So the tongue here, or the body of the tongue, or the front of the tongue, is raised towards the hard pellet. Of course, but not to the extent that it causes friction. Not to the extent that it causes friction, but I'm not uh, uh, in, the, in the way uh, uh, when producing a vowel like. Now, these are also called, way and er are also called approximants. Approximants mean, why approximants? Because the articulators, that is the tongue, the front of the tongue, and the palate come close to each other. Approximate means yaktarib. So they are called approximants, why? Because the body of the tongue is raised towards, but not, of course, very close, so, to the pellet, it is somehow raised towards the so the, the hard pellet, sorry, and this is why we call them approximants. And also, where and ye only are called semi vowels, they are called, but not or of course, they are called semi vowels. Why semi vowels? Because they are produced in a way like vowels, so they are produced like vowels. Why like vowels? Because in vowels, you know that in vowels, the breath goes out relatively freely. How are you in vowels? Now, when saying, saying for example, we, ye, and also here, you see here, there, there is relatively no obstruction to the air passage. 
تقريبا ماكو اعاقه عندنا الاير باسج اند ات از سم هاو ان ذا سيم برودوس ان ذا سيم واي اور برودوس ان ذا سيم واي يس از فاوز اند ذس از واي وي كول ذيم سيمي فاوز بيكوز ذي ار برودوس ان ذا سيم واي از برا از وي برودوس فاوز بت اوف كورس ذي ار كونسونانس واي كونسونانس بيكوز ذي ار ان ذا ساوند سيستم اوف انجلش ذي ار كونسيدرد كونسونانس We have, and here we have a test here by using the word the. استخدام the, استخدام the. So we, when, for example, we say the window, the wall, but not the wall. So it is a consonant. They are, they ought. Don't say the ought. I on our native speakers don't say the ought or 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 uh, 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 the the ought. They say they ought and the ought. Now, go please here. Manner of articulation. This refers to the to how cons the consonants are produced or articulated. In other words, it refers to the type of closure which is made by the different organs of speech. Now, according to this feature, consonants are classified as fricatives. These are f, v, f, th, s, z, sh, j, and h or stops or plosives. B, p, b. T, D, and K, G, Africus, Ch, J, Nasals, N, M, and N, Laterals, L, Glidings, W, Y, and R. Of course, the last three are all voiced, always voiced. Now you see here, fricatives. They are those sounds which are produced with audible friction. That is by narrowing the air passage at some point in the oral cavity, and when the The air try, tries to escape through this narrow passage. It causes friction. Uh, if, if, if this is sh, sh, and and sometimes er, sometimes er. Now you see here number two stops plosives. They are those sounds which are produced by complete closure of the air passage, which is afterwards released with an explosion of the air outside the mouth. These are we have. P, B, T, D, K, G, and in any stop we ha we have four phases, arbaat atwar. Number three, affricates. They are those sounds which are produced like any stop at the beginning and any fricative at the end. First, the air stops at some point in the oral cavity, and then it is released with a friction. We have the only two uh, uh, affricates in English are Ch and J. Look, go to number four, nasals. They are those sounds which are produced when the soft palate is lowered and the air is forced to go out through the nasal cavity. We have m, n, and ng. Number five, laterals. It is the sound which is produced when there is a, a partial closure of the air passage. The tongue tip is raised, touching, touching here, not near, touching the alveolar ridge and the air goes over the sides of the tongue. We have L, dark L, and light L. Number six, glidings, or they are not semi-vowels. Two of them are semi-vowels, of course, W and Y only. They are those sounds which are produced when the tongue and the palate come close to each other, but not to the extent causing audible friction or producing a vowel-like sound. And that is why some phoneticians call them approximants. Yeah and where well are also called are also are called semi-vowels because they are similar to vowels in the sense that air passes relatively freely without any obstruction. Yeah, where well, and er.